Sweet. I think this is running smoothly now. All right. So anyway, um, another thought video. Yeah, I know. I put a lot of these out. Uh, I get some people that watch. I'm usually like close friends and family, I guess. <laughs> I guess they want to make sure I'm still alive. So what do I, what am I uh, doing today? Um, this isn't AZ and this isn't Warframe. Um, I know I said I would do some more Warframe, and I will. I actually do a, a little bit of a more of a review on it once I play it a little bit more. Um, well, some of you might recognize this. This is um, Rift, and my friends suggested that I would get this, play a little PvP with them. They they tend to skip around games quite a bit. I always like to play usually like one or two games at a time, but they insisted that I kind of get in on this while I while I can um, because I guess they said the PvP is fun and they just wanted someone to play with but I guarantee you they'll turn around and they'll find something else that's interesting to play. Matter of fact, Terra just came out today um, free to play so they told me they're gonna go hop to that. Unfortunately I can't hop around all these games and I'm just not gonna do that but um, I got this. I actually did pay pay for it. I did spend a few, I guess, a few hours, if you will, playing it. Uh, I thought it was pretty worthy to kind of buy it. I actually thought it was free to play, kind of like Guild Wars and other games. But this is actually a subscription-based game, and um, this is one of the few out there that is still subscription-based. Uh, I believe the three are um, WoW, Rift, and Tor. I know some of you guys are going to say, "Well, Tor is free to play." Uh, in reality, it really isn't free to play, and I will get into that into another video, which I plan on doing this week about free to play and and subscriptions and why I think um, uh, subscription games. Uh, well, not why I think subscription games are better, but I guess the pros and cons between the subscription based MMO and a free to play based MMO. I know um, economical. The free-to-play seem to be doing a lot better than they were subscription-based, which is which is good, which is healthy for for the game and the community and all that. Um, but there, I think there's there is some downfalls to that 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 um, that marketing compared to the subscription-based. But um, anyway, here's Rift. Um, I'll kind of run. I'm going to run a few things today about MMO, so that's why I'm going to play this. Um, I know some of you might ask, "Oh, why do I want to play?" Uh, Guild Wars 2, I'll be uh, quite honest with you. <laughs> um, if I logged into Guild Wars, I would actually get swamped with stuff to do. And unfortunately, I wouldn't have time to kind of do a video and kind of uh, appease everybody else. So, here's the main character screen. Now, you can get Rift kind of free to play. It's called Rift Lite. Um, I'm not sure. I think you want to create like one or two characters. Um, it's really limited, and I think you can only get to level 20 now. The my highest level right now is level 10, and I believe she's almost level um, 11. Um, yeah, so um, as you notice, her name is Annie Puma. Now, if anybody, people know me for a long time. I've I've been going by Annie Puma for a very long time, for as my characters. So. Um, Typically, if you see me in game, it's it's typically going to be the same person that's making these videos. So, you can hit me up in game, any of these games, and um, play. Now, I'm on uh, Fablight, which is the, R the RP server. Now, some of you might go, "Why are you playing on our RP server?" Well, honestly, uh, one, I like to RP. Two, uh, I find sometimes the PVE community is actually a lot better here, a lot more mature. Which is really strange coming from the fact that you can pick a PvE server and um, and you you would think that that would work, but a lot of times you find a lot more drama on the PvE servers than you do on the on the RP servers because it, it tends to drive the RP in the title kind of drives the the trolls and drives the the immature crowd away, which is really nice. Um, so anyway. Um, so I made her. She's a rogue. Um, I have uh, another character, which is a mage. I actually have two mages, but one's a... Uh, this guy here, he has like an undead minion, which is not being shown. But anyway... Um, she's a high elf. She's a guardian. 
which is um, one of the factions you can play. So I'm going to actually start playing. The graphics is not... Uh, I'll talk about the graphics in a minute. I, I don't find the graphics that unple unpleasant. I I know some might say, oh, it's kind of looks like WoW. Well, when this game was made, WoW was no the number one in the in the world as far as the MMO, and I, I won't lie to you, this is probably a direct WoW ripoff. Uh, people can get upset with me when I say that, um, but it's the truth. Um, it is uh, definitely it is wow I, I think the, the graphics are a little bit more less uh, uh, I guess you can see less um, cartoony than wow uh, I, I didn't mind wow the, the cartoony stuff it, you know it, wow's graphics that didn't bother me I actually I like some of the animations and stuff but this game is more I would say this game is like more of a clean cut version of WoW, but um, I know people are gonna be like, "Oh, this ain't fucking WoW." Uh, well, it is in, in my in my case. I mean, interface is just like WoW. Uh, a lot of the, the abilities are like WoW, and you'll see in a minute when I start doing things. Well, here's my other little close up shot. Um, I think she's pretty pretty. I'm not sure with the the short hair, but it's only a hair that I really did like on her. She had nice blue eyes, and um, I guess the character model's all right. I mean, I've I've had better versions of of Annie Puma out there, and in fact, Guild Wars 2 Annie Puma is probably a lot more uh, appeasing this character. But I do kind of like the you kind of get the little butt shot going on there it's, when she runs, got the little cheeks hanging out. It's kind of kind of funny. Uh, I'm just going to kind of run around and do some questing. Uh, the one thing I don't like about this game, one of the things I don't like about this game so far, is the combat, and it's very, very slow. And when I say slow, I mean slow. Um... It, it's it's the combat's like it's exactly like wow and I'm so used to now games with a lot faster combat movements and the combat speed and you know when you come from a game like Guild Wars to this you're like whoa she the attack's really really slow but um, once you get used to it you kind of you kind of remember if you ever played World of Warcraft and that's why I call wow World of Warcraft is wow okay so. Those that don't know what I'm, what I mean by WoW, it's World of Warcraft. If you don't know what, what WoW is, then you probably shouldn't be watching this channel in the first place. But okay, so I've completed my one quest over here. I guess I only have one quest. Now she gets a couple self buffs, uh, a poison, um, and a couple others that I've, I'm not really familiar with. I think this is when the the rifts are open. Now in this game. Which is why it's called Rift, is is because r rifts tear open out of the air and um, well, out of the air, out of the sky, and essentially pour like these these extraterrestrial beings onto the ground, and you kind of have to, I guess, kill them, and then you have to kill the thing that kind of is generating the rift, and then you you win the little events, kind of like dynamic events. Like in Guild Wars 2, you run around and it's like, oh, you know, the the champion of the area is, you know, spawned up. Go beat the shit out of him. Yeah, go beat the shit out of him. The same thing here. You you know, you look on your map and see right there, minor water rift active. You know, I if I go down there, there'll be some there'll be something to do. Matter of fact, I'll, 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 I want to head down there. Um, oh, here's the mage. She was the Grave Lord. That's the little elf that I have. Oh, she's cute. And um, and that's her little minion, the little skeletal minion. That's pretty sweet. But anyway, all right, I need to hand this in, and then I need to go down to that rift and show you what's going on with that. Um, so, yeah, again, people are asking me, why are you playing this game? You know what? It's a, it's a actually a little bit of different. I, I like um, being different. Um, will show us the way. A little bit. Uh, my friend that plays this says the PvP is pretty, pretty fun in this. Um, 
which, um, okay. Uh, hopefully this takes me more, honestly, I forget what this actually takes me. I hope this takes me somewhere that I want to be. Uh oh, looks like there's a couple of rifts forming. All right, so we go check out the rifts now. I play a rogue, which is going to be an assassin. Uh, which what I what I do like about this game is the the talent trees. I'm like wow, um, and le unlike many other games, this really has a unique um, talent tree. Oh, he looks. He yeah, looks like somebody I, I do not want to mess with. So, okay, I gotta go over to the, the right here. But uh, the talent tree. Um, now let me see if I can pull this up here. Soul tree. They call it the soul tree. Um, you can um, assassin, ranger, stalker. Now, um, I picked um, when I when I went to the character creation. Um, I picked uh, rogue. And with that, you can um, specialize in different areas. I think I, I specialize in an assassin, but you get to choose from other trees like the Rift Stalker and the Ranger. Um, okay, Morden Tyke. So, um, back to the combat real fast. As you can see, this kind of looks like a, a World of Warcraft rogue. You know, you, and this is what a rift looks like, you know. They're, I think they're elemental in naturally. Honestly, I'm not. I'm not entirely sure, but you kind of have to like go through a couple different steps to uh, destroy it. And you get a little reputation with the whoever order of purity. And you can see this. This is just like a. A wild rogue. Um, she gets combo points. There. Pick up the stuff here. Here we go. Now you also get. You're supposed to get like really good loot from these. Doing these, and I'm kind of soloing this. So this tells something tells me that you don't get so great a loot. Pretty good XP and stuff, and these and these things die pretty quick. Oh, this guy looks a little bigger than. Yeah, he looked a little bigger than we used to. Yeah, we'll go ahead and destroy this guy. I think you can get add-ons to this game as well, like, like wow, I, I have not really dug deep into that. Honestly, I'm not uh, all that familiar with this game yet. I did find that you get player housing, which is, as a role player, that's pretty cool actually. And you might ask yourself, what's player housing? Just a little sanctuary where you can put stuff and just kind of be left alone. And you can put stuff in it, like little like chairs and tables. And I think that's actually pretty cool. Pretty sweet. It's kind of sold me on getting the game. Okay, it seems that I have to kill the, the big mama here. I don't have a whole lot of skills yet. Ok, 
Okay, I, I'm kind of timed here, aren't I? I'm kind of timed here on what I need to kill and. The first one that I did was a fire one. Um, the other night when I was playing. See, you get to say the combat's just a little slower than I'm used to. Actually, I think I might make this. Chopper. Come on, come on. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, uh, I think I beat, missed the timer. Which I'm not sure what that means. Rift is sealed. And I got s some loot. Let's see the loot here, the loot button. Let's see what I got. Uh, some planner, right? It's used currency used to purchase common and uncommon goods from the planar merchants. And an old tablet. Well, I'll take that. And, and there you have it, and then the, the rift disappears, which is, uh... You know what? It's a cool little event, and you get a little loot out of it, you get some XP. And then she's off again. I don't really like how she runs. She runs kind of like... Kind of like she got something stuck up her ass, but... There was an... Oh, and there's a, a minor death rift. So this, mu this must be, like, all, like, kind of based on elements and stuff. Uh, see? That's actually pretty sweet looking. Look at that. That's just... Oh, I got a group here. Alright, so now we're gonna get to work with other people. And they look like they're on stage three. And they have a need and greed based system. Uh oh. This is not good. walking is. So yeah, you gotta... This is actually a lot harder. It must be because there's so many people in the area. I keep just kind of smacking around by these things. I 
It's just like WoW combat, you know. A rogue's pretty good with a one on one, but you start getting multiple mobs. It's kind of a pain in the ass. Stage complete. Oh boy. I destroy the champion. There we go. We get this guy. Uh oh. Oh no, this is not good. Uh, come on, you can do it. I got an achievement. Oh, wow. I got some cool stuff out of it. And the rift is gone. Yay! see here. Any more of these cool rifts around? I, I gotta go back up that way. <laughs> the north. Oh, I need to leave the party.